This is AFBB Pro John Hodgson doing the second of his blogs. Um, John asked for certain uh, questions to be, to be asked uh, through a blog the other day. So here's the first one. John, your thoughts on people hiring prep coaches before they even stepped on stage, or even <coughs> to the fact that every man and his dog are prep coaches or gurus? Yeah, I, to be honest with you, it's one of them areas that really pisses me off, from being honest with you. Um, to be considered a prep coach, well, you know, or a guru, you've got to have been there and actually done it, you know what I mean, and wore the t-shirt. I mean, I hear rumours of certain individuals out there that have been helping certain people, yet are going out and, and picking who they, you know, the, the, the gifted ones. Anyone with common sense can help a genetically gifted individual. Do you know what I mean? Um, and um, and that's one of the areas on certain, well, one or two individuals out there that are getting a name for themselves. You know, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see. Well, how are you getting on with people that are not so gifted, who are just starting out and stuff like that? Uh, that's one. That's one particular area that really gets on my nerves. Um, Another one is that, you know, you can't turn down and claim to be a guru or a coach or a prep coach if you've just done one show or a couple of shows. Seriously, come on, you've got to have attained something, you know, uh, uh, you've got to have, you've got to be, you've got to earn the respect from the industry, your peers, the judges, uh, fellow athletes, you know. If you're the British champion, you've not got there by chance, you've done something right. I mean, for myself, I mean, I won three British titles. I turned pro, was a pro for 10 years, competed with every Mr. Olympia. I was regarded and renowned for my condition. I know what I'm doing. You know, and I know that this industry inside out. I mean, there are a handful of people that I could honestly say truly that you could probably trust. And, um, I mean, one of them is Neil Hill. I mean, a very, very good friend of mine. You know, um, he's, you know, and he's, he's done, and he's looked after Flex Lewis from the very early days all the way through to where he is now. But all these people now through social media are coming on and, and everyone's claiming to be a PT this, a guru that. So I've got to say, fuck off. It's just bollocks. It really is. You know, and it, 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 for me, it's like back in, back in the day when we were getting ready, or we, we sought a bit of advice out, you know, and we got guided, but we weren't telling people when to do this, that, the other. You know, we were guided, given little pointers. You know, so it's not difficult, but if someone then really is and wants proper help, seek your advice, carefully, what is it you want to achieve? What do you want to look like? Well, do you go to someone who's done a little bit? Or do you want to go to those who've actually been there, seen it and done it? So for me, to be, to, I don't like the word guru, I really don't. Because I don't see myself as a guru, I see myself as a, a former professional athlete that walked the walk and taught the talk. But yeah, that can help, I can help people, so can other top athletes help people. But if you've not done anything, I'm not saying that not all of them don't know what they're talking about. But for me, unless you've walked the walk, it's like, how can you talk the talk? To, to expand on that point, it's not just about saying just getting somebody in condition as well. You've also got to understand what it takes mentally. How does someone feel? If you've not been in that real dark place, and believe me, if you get in a real condition, you do go to a very, very dark place. But if you've not been there, you will never ever truly relate to what that person's going through. Are you with me? You can turn around and tell them how to read, do your cardio and this, that and the other, but most people have actually very, very few people get into that real nails hard condition. We're talking bodybuilding point of view, I'm saying. I'm saying with, with women and certain ca ca categories, you don't have to go to that extreme. So, you know, is it really difficult to go in the gym and train hard and eat a clean diet and get in shape? It not be a, it's, it's pretty basic, actually. But to go back to the point, um, yeah, I've made my point very, very clear. It, it's, a, it's a joke. It's a complete joke. So, you know, that's my first, what, what's the next one, so? Uh, a carbohydrate is bad for you. Are your thoughts uh, on, what are your thoughts on keto or time carbohydrates, etc.? Again, another reason why the industry's not going anywhere um, and everyone's confused to fuck. I mean, 
Tell me one Mr. Olympia who fucking won the Olympia on the keto diet. Not fucking one. Not one. Every top bodybuilder, virtually every bodybuilder, needs carbohydrates. You've got to have carbohydrates. It's, a, it's your predominant fuel. It's a fuel you for your workouts. Your muscles need carbohydrates so that it can, you know, the muscle can store glycogen and, and, and have that fullness to it. I mean, it's, crap. it's It's just people trying to, oh, well, it's time this and time that. Why, why, why don't we just complicate the shit out of it? Because that's what we're doing. It's ridiculous. You know, anybody who trains really hard, and I mean really hard, needs to make and have a, have a balanced diet. That's the key. You need, pro, you need quality proteins, you need pro, quality complex carbohydrates, you need your vegetables in there, and you need good fat, healthy fats. It's about balance. And the problem is, is that some people want to try and, you know, they say, oh, well, we're looking for this and that and the other. It, it, the all proven time methods work. As I've said in my first blog, we're not seeing an improvement on the stage across the board as a whole. Why? Because everybody's listening to this, then listening to that, and doing this and doing that. Again, it's like I refer back to my first blog. If you go back to the basics, you won't go wrong. You won't go far wrong. And all this time carbs and all this. Never have I done it. All the people that I used to advise and give pointers to never did it. We all got in great shape. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> the magazines have got to fill something. Yeah? Someone's trying to make a name for themselves. Trust me. You know, those, those who want to do the high fat diet and low, low carb diet, you crack on, you keep looking like a bit of shit. Cool. And finally, what are your thoughts on these people going around claiming to be British champions and all the things that shit? Well, there are various federations, aren't there? I mean, for me personally, there are two main federations that really, you know, give you the respect that you deserve, if you like. The main federation in the, in the UK is the UK BFF, and then it's NABA. So, for me, you know, I'm not knocking other federations, it's quite like there's other federations for people to compete at. But you're not a true British champion unless you've won a NABA British title or certainly a UK BFF one. If you want to become an IFBB pro, you have to win the UK BFF Britain. And, and that's when you become a British champion in my eyes. So, you know, if it's another, another federation, and sorry, but those of us in the know know what the true British titles are to win, to be recognised and taken seriously. So, you know, if it's not NABA, if it's not UK BFF, then you're not a true British champion. Simple as that. Might upset a few people, but it's a fact. It's a fact. They're, they're the main ones. So, you know, if you want to claim yourself to be a two-bit British champion, then fine, go elsewhere. I might upset a few people there, but it, I'm, I'm stating them all the realities of it. And that's not un to undermine anybody who does compete elsewhere. <laughs> Far from it. But if you then want to be taken ultra seriously within the bodybuilding community and be, you know, looked upon as a true champion, mix it with the very, very best. And the very best are in them two federations. Simple as that. So, I think that's covered it all, hasn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one. Fuck off. <laughs>